Hey everyone, in this video we will look at the slicer in Power BI and the various options. So uh, in this one specifically we we'll look at single uh, select option. Uh, let's start and I'll tell you uh, what it is about. So I've got a dashboard uh, open here with me which is showing me uh, different versions of sales by country and sales by product, sales by country, sales by year. And if I want to say let's say uh, slice the data by um, for example let's say i've got product category with me and i wanted to uh, slice and see how how these visuals look for every product category so we could do that um, let me just move this and this visual and what i'll do is so i've made some space for my um, slicer here and i'll just go to dim product category and select english product category name so what this has done is, let me just move this a bit. It's created a table for me. So I'll just go and click on the slicer visual. And it gives me the options where it's saying that if the values are blank, so I can see uh, what kind of data is blank. None of the data is blank, it seems. So for accessories, it seems it has only started selling in 2013. Bikes have been selling across the board, but then, and you can see that the other visuals are also changing. And for clothing, how things look, it seems that for, um, and if, so if I click on bikes once and then I click on it again, it uh, takes away that the filter or the slice I'd created. Similarly for components, there's nothing on. I can take this out by double clicking, by clicking on clothing again. But let's say for example, I just want to make sure that and now I can also select multiple options by clicking on the control button. So I do control. I can select bikes and I can again do a control and click accessories. So it's selected multiple values. So I can select multiple values here as well. So let's say I just want users to be able to uh, just look at one, one slice at a point in time uh, or not be able to select multiple values. How do I do that? So what you can do is with the slicer you selected, you go to the formatting tab. And you click on selection control. So you've got other things available here as well. But you go to selection controls and you say single select on. And the moment you make single select on, it becomes a radio button. So you can only select uh, one particular category at a point in time. So um, there could be use cases where you just want to uh, be able to look at specific uh, product category and not across multiple categories. So you could probably go and enable this option. I hope you find this video useful and thanks for watching this video. Uh, please do subscribe to my channel if you enjoy what I'm doing and do like my videos. Thanks. Bye.